few minutes to help these casualties. Where the conditions are bad, your casualty is distressed and traumatized. What's your first move? How would you cope while others around you can't? Do you have the confidence, knowledge, and skills to deal with this situation? On reflection, you always sort of look back and think, could I have done this differently? Could I have done that differently? But you have to accept that what happened, happened. You did the best you could in the circumstances you were in. I know that night there were certain aspects of my training kicked in. I knew there were certain things we had to do. I knew there were certain things we had to do with the crew and the survivors that we'd recovered, how we had to place them. And the important thing is, we didn't think it would happen that night, and it did. So the best thing you can do is practice and train for it. The response to the emergency is a team thing, but at the end of the day, after it's all done and dusted, the individual crew member has to look to himself, has to look how he performed on the day. I've actually been in the water once and actually been rescued by my own crew. And the care, the care that the crew gave me was down to the fact that the training they, they're getting. They are a, a vital component offshore. Um, that component, however, will only be as good as the training that, that uh, they've undertaken. Because after all, they should be proud. They, their training will allow them to save lives. Imagine an ideal world, a world in which there are no accidents. The crews of emergency response and rescue vessels wouldn't actually have to do anything. You could all stand around looking pretty, but no one would really know what you were for. A bit like Liz Hurley. Unfortunately, it's not an ideal world. Accidents do happen, and that means you have to be ready to act 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, 365 days a year. Most of you, if not all of you, will have received medical aid training. But there's a need to maintain those levels of competence. And this DVD is designed as a visual reference to support that ongoing training. One of the prime considerations in making the uh, offshore medical DVD was to try and draw away from the conventional type training program and to create a DVD that was both interesting and stimulating for those members working offshore. We believe we've achieved this by using the emergency response and rescue vessel crews uh, in the filming. Um, they're all trained in basic medical aid and would be at the forefront of any incident that happened offshore. The first aiders you will see in this DVD are regular standby vessel crew, just like yourselves. As they are not actors or paramedics, they were understandably nervous about practicing first aid procedures in front of a camera and therefore weren't as polished in their performance as they might have wanted to be. Sometimes they even forgot some of the finer points learnt during their training. Most people would react similarly, especially during the stress of coping with a real-life emergency. These are normal responses to trying and difficult circumstances, and we have therefore left them in the film sequences to show how people react under pressure in real life situations. Don't criticise the crew involved, but recognise their contribution to this production in putting their skills under the scrutiny of the camera. Be honest enough to identify your own shortcomings and use these sequences to analyse how you might respond under pressure. We hope you will never have to face a major incident where you have to use the skills you have been taught. But if you do, you will be working in traumatic and difficult circumstances under very real pressures of time and resources. Although you will try to give your best, you may not always be able to achieve the same standards that you have been taught and practiced on your basic training course. We have tried to recognize some of these issues in the video and present realistic rather than artificially perfect scenarios. The DVD aims to stimulate and challenge as you watch it, try to concentrate on the basics and discuss what you see within your own first aid team. 
If you see something which you feel could have been done in a more effective or a different manner, talk it through among yourselves. And if necessary, seek advice from your training organisation. Above all, be positive and use the video as a starting point to improve your first aid skills. Now you may have heard a lot of this stuff before, but I'll be honest with you, working with the various teams in the lead up to today's filming has been a real eye opener for me. Some of these men and women have been through experiences that a lot of people, and I include myself, just wouldn't have been able to cope with. During each of the seven training modules, you'll hear a lot more from them. Real crew who have first-hand experience of working in your environment. Their input will give you a real insight into managing and dealing with situations. They'll also share and explore the methods and practices on board different vessels, which will help you develop ideas and solutions that may suit the specific needs of your vessel. From the main menu screen, you can access all seven of the training modules on this DVD. And just like your DVD or video at home, you've got full control of playback, so you can watch any module in any order you want.